Okay, Super Moo World by Jen Boo. Let's get this started. Farmer Luigi wakes up to what he thinks is a normal day, but he notices something just doesn't feel right in his nuggets. He investigates. Now the Moo Barn here is like a tutorial level. There's different like little um, things, jumps you can do. It teaches you like what jumps to expect, what coin indicators to expect. Uh, also has a helper block where if you hit that, um, some of the levels gain a yellow block to um, help you with getting through the game, especially for beginners, uh, but also that forces you to not be able to get to the special world at the end of the game, being it blocks access to the pipe that gets you to that exit. So uh, we're just gonna skip that. And we're gonna go right to Pub Gardens. There's Pup and Gardens. It's initially um, seen as a level that maybe, yeah, my kids can beat this level, but then you factor in the moon route and it's like, wow, this is actually a really amazing level. Holy crap. my sunflower levels dedicated to my newest fan Carly who's my wife's friend's four-year-old daughter hi Carly how are you thanks for following me have a great day It's Woosa Woods, uh, a lot of really tight platforming, um, which is uh, really cool. Um, good practice, I like it a lot.
underground. A lot of uh, really cool time jumps. Um, yeah. The normal exit for Mount Wanahapu. Probably the coolest uh, level name you can ever think of. Secret exit of Mount Mwanhakalugi. A um, lot of, uh, actually not a lot, there's two um, cool tricks you can do with the slide to get extra speed and then the key jump. So I don't know if that was initially intended to be done that way, but um, some cool text you can use there. is the uh, Lumos Palace and uh, we got the Yump. The secret exit of Salty Kisses. The only thing I can think of is to why the water kills you, as if it's like a lot, a lot of things peed in that water. Um, it brings back memories of swimming in questionable bodies of water that were questionably warm in certain spots. That is the Gillyweed Palace. And we got the reverse, I mean, not the reverse yump, the um, spin yump this time. It's a normal exit for Salty Kisses and some sort of orb. Um, seems like forever since we've gotten a moon. Um, there are no moons in the Switch Palaces. Uh, it was confirmed I watched the what, world record holder of the game and do this run and it was verified run and there were no moons in the Switch Palaces in case you were wondering. Thank you. 
Or that is Hidden Pearl. A uh, very easy level, but um, the timing, especially in that last room, to get the moon and still have the throw block um, hit the block before it melts is very precise, so it's a nice ch uh, challenge there. It's a forbidden forest. We have saved Maggie Moo. Yay. Um, I next messed up the um, uh, was it P speed strat at the beginning of the level. Uh, the world record holder um, gains P speed uh, by going under the boo, and then you can um, get through the first half of the level like super quick. Uh, probably saves a few seconds. So. If I ever want to speed run this game, that's something I gotta work on. But yeah, amazing level. Um, probably my favorite music of all the levels in the game. Uh, the middle part with the bouncing on the ball with the boo forest, that uh, takes some practice to get uh, timing down just right. Especially in that middle section. I mean, the first section, the third section, you kinda just like do nothing if you're in the center of the ball, but the second part, you have to kinda time the three jumps carefully. But uh, very cool level. The quote unquote normal exit of uh, minutes to midnight. Uh, if you uh, finish this level and go to the credits here, that's considered the game is complete for any percent. Uh, but we're going to go back and do the secret exit, quote unquote, and uh, go to Star World. And that is the quote-unquote special exit of Minutes to Midnight. Uh, interesting to note that uh, Maggie Move is actually a Goomba uh, type enemy, being you can do the uh, Goomba throw trick uh, to get height to get to the moon, which I should have mentioned in the normal exit, but I forgot for a moment. But yeah, we're on to the Star World now. Or 
That is Sweet Dreams. Level I would think would be awesome music to listen to if I have problems falling asleep so I can have Sweet Dreams. Um, this is the first of three like quote unquote uh, gimmick jump half type levels with you know, really cool gimmicks. Uh, this one obviously has zero gravity and we're on to the next one. That is Neon Lights. Um, awesome color scheme. Reminds me of uh, Field of Dreams from Quickie World 2. Um, that level has the gimmick of motor skills where you can switch between normal jump and spin jump in midair to bounce off different obstacles to get further in the level. So I always love that gimmick. So awesome level. On to the last level of the game, Sugar Rush. So stay tuned for that. That is Sugar Rush. As a fellow parent, I can totally understand where Jen was coming from when making that level. With um, kids just bouncing off the walls, you know, doing crazy things. Um, so yeah, that's the final level of the game. The gimmick was just um, able to toggle between being on the floor or the roof um, to, uh, by pressing uh, L or R uh, as long as you're on a solid surface. So cool gimmick to end the, level, end the game. Um, so yeah, stay tuned for the end credits and final thoughts of the game. Okay, we are at the final credits of Super Mario World. Um, final thoughts of the game, just uh, another game I would recommend in the block of games to uh, try out. Um, once you're comfortable with uh, getting out of a tutorial hack like um, Learn to Kaiser or Kaiser Kindergarten, um, this game teaches you um, some really good um, aspects like uh, re-grabs and uh, time platforming. Um, gives you some idea of gimmicks in case you see that in other hacks. So um, very well thought out uh, hack. Uh, so Jen did an amazing job with that. Um, definitely give it a try. Um, the moon challenge adds a little bit of difficulty to certain levels, uh, especially the first one. That like first moon is probably the hardest one in the whole game to get. Uh, the rest seem to kind of be a lot easier, but we're still like you know fun to get. And you had to use certain um, like techniques to get them. Like I remember like the was it Wusa Woods? You had to use like re grabs off of the bouncing off the dinos to time your jumps to get that one. Um, was it the minutes to midnight? You had to use the uh, Goomba uh, jump trick, boost trick to get that moon. Um, so there were some uh, interesting techniques to get uh, the moons there. So that added an extra aspect to the game. So in case you think you're you know, really good at the game, you have something else to strive toward. Definitely a very popular game for speedrunning, I know as well. Um, I know that the world record holder, he has like all three of the world records for like uh, any percent, uh, 100%, and the 100%, well, not 100%, so just all moon um, percent. But um, I feel, feel that the moon percent is very free because uh, he died a few times, he screwed up a few times, but. Um, if I ever speed run, I'll probably try the moon percent uh, to see if I can get that, but we'll see what happens. So that is it for this uh, project, um, the 
and on to the next one. Um, I haven't decided what I'm going to do next, but uh, stay tuned for that.